Hello and welcome, Virgo, to your weekly reading. Virgo, this is a general reading for the week of March 13th through the 19th or whenever you're drawn to it. Virgo, I was doing some crystal gazing and I saw some children playing in a garden. The garden was in full bloom, so this could be a very abundant fertile time for you. Okay, let's dive in with some color messages. And we got watermelon. Ooh, I like that. Have fun with your inner child. Hmm, okay. I like that. Very nice. Let's dive into the tarot and pick up your past energies and the foundation for this situation for you, Virgo. Okay. Spirit, what do you have for Virgo? Past energies, please. Okay. Yep. Two of Fire and the Eight of Water. So it looks like you could have had a choice between two paths. And you set off on a new journey, traveling with some lessons, okay? We're going to dive this in, dive into the two of fire. Let's clarify this, please. The moon, okay. Could have been doing some shadow work, maybe. This could have happened during a new moon or a full moon, but I am kind of getting a new feeling from this. Okay, let's look at the eight of water, please. Okay, okay. The magician and the six of pentacles. Yeah, I see that you are you're setting out to try to find uh, a manifest. Something that is fair. I'm also, again, getting the feeling of children with this six of coins. Okay. Let's move into your current energy. You will know if this is pertaining to your situation or not. If not, check out your other signs. Sun, moon, and rising. Okay, let's get the current energies for Virgo. Current energies, please, soul team. I definitely do see that you've put a lot of work into a situation, into this new endeavor. Okay. We got the five of waters. Yeah, I definitely feel like um, you're picking up the pieces. Leaving the past behind you, looking for something more. Okay, let's go ahead. Eight of air. Trying to push through the confusion. Maybe you're not sure exactly which way to go at this moment. Okay, five of water. Kind of... Set out on faith on this new adventure. Okay, five of water. But this little seahorse here with her makes me feel like you're not alone. So, 
Ace of Pentacles. Yes, definitely something new. Quite a big event or move at this time. Okay, Eight of Air. Okay. The Nine of Cups. You're wanting to go towards your happiness. To find happiness. You're searching for it. Okay. Let's get the advice for Virgo. What is the advice for Virgo? Advice for Virgo, please. Transformation. It takes time, yeah. Small things. Small little glimmers I'm getting. Um, okay, all that. Page of air and the four of earth. Okay, I'm getting to continue to search for the things that make you feel curious and intrigued, okay, research, okay, let's get, clarify the transformation, please, and the advice. Transformation. Virgo, do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, as I do upload weekly. All right. I'm going to switch over to these playing cards that I often use to clarify with. Okay, show me this transformation, please, Salty. Hmm, okay. I'm being told to look at it closer. Um. I do see like little little messengers or guides kind of mixed in here. So I do feel like your guides are leaving you little clues. Perhaps synchronicities, perhaps even through children, you know, kids say the darndest things sometimes, okay, show me this transformation, clarify please. King of Swords. King of Swords is inspection, intelligence. So yeah, I'm just really getting the feeling of really follow your curiosity, look for signs and clues. Okay, let's get this page of air. In the advice was well, the page of air here again they're looking up and inspecting this little feather makes me wonder is it floating towards them or away from them 
could be saying be very cautious of the little, even little things that you let in right now, like thoughts. Careful of your thoughts. Okay. Page of air. Clarify this, please. Okay. We got the six of coins. Again, we had it over here. Be fair. I see generosity, balance, too. Okay. Maybe try to keep your thoughts balanced. At this time, four of earth. Why is the four of earth here? Too many. Okay. Six of Swords and the Page. And Jack of Spades. So there could be a message. Yeah, again, I'm, I'm getting, look for these, these subtle messages that help nudge you in the right direction towards stability. Okay, that's what I'm getting with that. Okay, so we're going to move forward and get the probable outcome if you follow this advice. Well, team, what's the probable outcome of the three of air? Any others, please? I see you protecting your heart. And moving away from something. Okay. And the two of water. Right here. Okay, three of air. I do see that you have a, a little guide here on the wing here, and then these two back here. So I do feel like you are protecting your heart and following your guidance towards a more balanced love. Why is the three of earth here? I mean, three of air, excuse me. Three of air. Four of cups. A little bit of boredom, melancholy. It could just be getting your bearings, like getting, finding your footing again. And, and really protecting your heart during this time. Okay, the two of water. Well, it's a two of water here, please. Okay. Ace of Swords. Yeah, you're uh really taking care of you. I also see this as a new beginning coming in as well. A 
Okay. I do see that as a new beginning, something more in line with your true, genuine self. Let me go ahead and close this out with a spirit message. Oops. Messages from spirit for our Virgo, please. Okay, forgiveness. Forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful, and it has a capacity to heal and transform. What a beautiful, beautiful card. Okay, Virgo, many blessings. Come back next week. Bye-bye.